be interesting to see how it is against this. Yeah. I don't think it's got the legs or the front end to keep up with it, but we'll <laughs> see. The brakes are definitely better, but the front end is just... Yeah, you feel that. Sub 640 already? Uh, not today. Ah, I did tomorrow. It tomorrow morning, yeah. But they're all drunk and half of them go in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the way. It's gonna be fun tomorrow. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. And today is a very special day. Today is the day that I became German. According to Gran Turismo events track day. This is a joke, but Gran Turismo track day is not a joke. It's actually, um, as you can see, pretty serious with lots of serious cars. We are here today with the McLaren 620R running it as a taxi because we're limited by the type and amount of cars we can run as a taxi and TF, so we have 620R today. So this gives us a great opportunity to hop in, do a lap, show to you how it feels like from the passenger seat. And since we here have the GT2 RSMR driven by dear friend Alex, it will be interesting if we can actually keep up with him because it's actually always the the great discussion, what is faster, GT2 RSMR or the 620R, of course it all depends on the driver and the circumstances and yada yada yada, but it will be nice to see. So let's hop in, do a lap, follow Alex in case you haven't, maybe we can do a lap with him later. Hello. You ready for this? I am, are you? Let's see. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Good to be back with him in the car. For people who have missed it, he is still with Ring Taxi during TF, but driving track days with us. So I guess uh, kind of a dream job, more or less. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, we get to share the best cars, like from both companies. So yeah. this is a good way to do it. And it's nice to be in this car. This is this is the best of what McLaren's got on track to offer at the moment. I think it's very good. It'll be interesting to see how it is against this. Yeah. I don't think it's got the legs or the front end to keep up with it, but we'll see. <laughs>
overtakings on the right are allowed. fast but gd2 rs is just ridiculously fast it's just on another level it's absolutely another level like That's you it. have one car in front of you of course where's traffic but he was already slowly getting away from us because well this car has a bit better brakes and it has also a lot more emotion i must say because you feel the vibrations through the through the seat belts on your collarbone it is great it's, it's, it's amazing it's definitely more fun to drive there's no question of it's, that. it's it's definitely more an yes. experience for sure but GDDR is simply faster, and this is also more or less, I wouldn't say solves the discussion, but it hopefully explains to you the discussion, like would the GD2, uh, uh, would McLaren be the Nürburgring lap record? Because whether it's the Senna, whether it's 765 LT, whether it is this, they all kind of like front end grip because of the small tires. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting in that the real tire limited sections, like uh, basically from, well, any, any, anything that's low to medium speed, that's where you're really lacking that front end grip. Yeah. And that's where the other car just pulls away, pulls away, pulls away. You can make up a little bit of time in the braking zones, but on a circuit like this, there aren't enough of those braking zones to be able to do that. So like in the high speed corners, like Muck Curver and Foxhall and stuff like that, there isn't much difference because you've got the extra downforce and all that sort of stuff. But in the low speed corners where you're really limited by the tire, mm -hmm. you just can't, there's nothing you can compete with, especially when the 
a car like that is on a cup 2R, you know, yeah. it's... Oh, he was on ours, I think, as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a step, like, way above what a Trofeo is. Yeah, and this is on Trofeo ours. Yeah, it's a huge, huge difference, but, but like I said, it's nothing against McLaren. No, definitely it's, not. You know, it's just... It just <laughs> it's fast and emotional. Yeah, 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 it just highlights, you know, on what level that Porsche is. Yeah. You know, it's just a tool, and it does it all day. This, this couldn't do it all day, no. that's for sure. No, definitely not. So yeah, both are amazing cars, but it was a perfect example to show you the actual difference. Because um, usually I would say lap times, uh, we don't talk about lap times, but actually on Gran Turismo here, uh, they even have special awards for people who set a certain lap time. So we can't talk about lap time. You can see this was probably like a seven minute lap or close. Definitely yeah, I mean, close the car, this car has gone under seven minutes and it's, it's, de it's definitely not as easy as is what it is in a GT2, but it, mm. it is a sub seven car, there's no question. I mean, maybe if Michelin made a cup to our tire for this car, maybe you got another five, between five and 10 seconds of lap time, but mm -hmm. it's obviously, you know, it's impossible to tell. But even even like simple areas, like in the big compressors at Teargarn, I had to lift for Teargarn and yeah. it still smashed the floor. Yeah. Same in Foxhall, you know, all the bit, and uh, it hit the ha hit the floor really hard in flat, in um, Flans Garden 2 into Belloff. Yeah. Like it took off, landed, hit the floor, skipped, and then gripped. Yeah. You know, GC2, None of that, no drama, but that's what makes the two cars very different. Like the GT2 is not an emotional machine, it's just a tool. Yeah. Like, I often, like, people get in the car. It's, it's simply like playing a video game. You can use the cheat code GOAT mode, yeah. and you just like beat everything and everyone, but is it as much fun as actually working with it? It's the internal petrol hat discussion, so yeah, exactly. I think that's pretty much. It's like, it's like, it comes back to the thing, like, it's, it, it sounds ridiculous, but essentially it's just a very fast golf. Yeah, like it just does everything so well that yeah. it's seamless, you know. But the flip side of that is it doesn't have much emotion, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, you know, in comparison to a car like this. Yeah, no, this was great. Thank you, Tim, for the lap. You're welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to have a, a lap with Tim, um, yeah, you check out the video description. Also check out the Gran Turismo Event Strike Day with all the cool cars and all the bonus extras that we cannot show on camera. <laughs> so see you next time uh, tomorrow on my channel or next year at Gran Turismo events Nürburgring maybe even Spa maybe also Adriatica maybe some other places so thank you bye just also another example is how this tire was new brand new this morning and now there's actually uh, look at this here it's actually opened there uh, six laps yeah six laps we already mentioned before, we didn't go too much into detail how 620R eats through brakes in comparison with 720 and 600LT, but apparently it also eats through tires. So there is quite some downforce, maybe because of that, but there is no front end grip on suspension wise. Maybe. Yeah, it's just, it's just a low speed corner. It's like, yeah. Nürburgring's not the kind of track where you can slow the car down and shoot it out the corner. You need to carry the speed all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's you can't make up that deficit in front end grip, but yeah, it's it's, it's still a very fun car to drive, and I still stand by what I say. It has, without question, the best steering feel and brake feel and seating and position, position. Of yeah. any car I've driven, the road car I've ever driven, for mm -hmm. sure. No, no question. Yeah. yeah. The brake, the brake pedal is absolutely perfect. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but with fun comes also the price. In this game, it's not talking about the purchase price, but actually well, the components. Costs. I think the running costs. The running costs. costs. Especially GC3 are massive. Yeah. You know, GC3 have run, most people won't even change the brakes all season. Yeah. Maybe two sets of tyres all You're year. talking uh, Porsche GT3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, Sorry, yeah. Not yeah. race car yeah, GT3. Yeah, yeah. Porsche GT3, something like that. Yeah. Whereas this, as you can see, six laps. And done. And bye. Like, if you were here to do Gran Turismo properly in this car as a private customer, you'd need to bring two sets of tyres with you. Yeah. And probably an extra set of pads. Yeah. So. The hard reality. But a great car. All the emotion. Especially also the roof scoop, the exhaust, the wing, the aero. But now, actual goodbye, thanks for watching. And uh, let's check out what Devil's Diner has to offer.